Hello everybody, this is Chromosgrown018, and actually let me turn this down a bit. There we go. And this is a brand new Let's Play. And the only reason that I was able to get this game is because my boyfriend was nice enough to get me a Steam gift card, which I was not expecting him to do that. But... He did. And I used it to get, obviously, get this game. And just so you guys know, this is Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist, if you couldn't tell. Since I'm not exactly on the main menu. Uh, but... I was currently trying to get... I'd already actually started playing this. And I was currently trying to get the uh, Yu-Gi uh, booster pack. From the card shop. So I could... You know, start making my actual deck for multiplayer, since he also got a gift card for this as well. So I'm guessing he's gonna get the same game. Anyway, uh, I figured that I wanted to make my own personal deck for multiplayer, obviously, and I wanted to do a spellcaster deck. And Yugi's booster pack has all I need for that. Anyway, uh, I might as well go on and at least get this first episode going with a single player campaign obviously. Actually duelist challenges, no, no. And all that, I don't have the money for that yet. Here's the campaign. I can go through any... Ooh, that's pretty. Huh. Anyway, I could start in any of these, but I'm starting at the beginning. And as you can see, I've already got 16.3% complete on the series. And 3%, about 3% on the campaign. Complete. Okay. Let's start at this. The beginning. The dual skin, and I'm actually going to read about it. I'm not going to be doing any voices because I don't think I can pull it off. Loading Yu Gi Oh! Histories. The story of Yu Gi Oh! begins at Domino High School, where Duel Monsters, the hottest card game in the world, was all the rage. Yu Gi was the best duelist around. And he, his friend Joy, wanted desperately to learn how to duel as well. Now, obviously, this—if you guys haven't seen the anime, this is essentially what happens in the anime. So our history of Yugi Moto starts with Yugi teaching the rules of Duel Monsters to Joey as their friends take interest and watch. Hey, Joey! Earth to Joey, it's your turn. And like I said, if you guys have seen the show, this is exactly from the show. Well, not completely from the show, but mostly. Um, <laughs> what the look at this face? <laughs> what the heck is up with that face? Looks like he's shocked. Oh, isn't he cute? What he's thinking? Hey, Tristan, Yugi's here teaching. You know, Yugi here is teaching me how to play duel monsters. Drooling monsters, <laughs> really? I know he's got an accent, but I don't think it's that thick. Duel Monsters and Nimrod. They've been at it for hours. Joey's starting to get the hang of the game, but Yugi's like, yeah, he is the king of games. So, yeah. Okay, it's time to duel. And we start up with the loading screen. Uh, this is essentially going to be the tutorial of the game. For those who haven't actually played Yu-Gi-Oh! before. Sorry, I, I stopped and gave myself some drink. Informate. Informate. <laughs> I am Informate, part of the virtual game simulator. To teach you proper dueling rules and best practices. Yeah, like I said, this is essentially the tutorial on those who haven't played the game before. Taking on the role of Yugi Moto, facing against Joey Wheeler. And this is essentially not what uh, was originally in the Yugi's deck, I think. Then I could I could be wrong, because I think that in the end Yugi ends up beating him with Blackland Fire Dragon, and I don't think we have that card. So, not completely canon yet. And yeah, yeah, we learned how to summon a monster, and we gotta set this monster in defense mode, because its defense points are higher. 
And let's end phase. Since that's all we can do. Actually, we could have set that as well, but they won't let us. Yet. And, haha. -ha. And we just got a trap card. Of course. Heck, we start out with 8,000 life points. Normally in the anim in the show we start out with 2,000, but as the series progresses we get more and more. And yeah, yeah, because his monster's attack was lower than our defense, so he lost took damage. Now let's so play Banner of Courage. And set Call of the Haunted as well. And we're gonna change that to attack position and summon Ninken Dog in attack mode. Which, not, just so you know, I haven't seen a ton of these cards. I've only seen a small portion of the cards in the actual game. My brother had a ton of cards, but I just kept with what I had. Okay, now what were we supposed to do? Okay, we gotta go to battle phase. Okay, we attack with this monster. Since he got the boost from Banner of Courage. And since he has no more monsters, I direct attack. Oh, some of these cards have animate battle animations when you use them against other monsters. But it's only like the signature cards like Ryugi, Dark Magician, Kaiba, Blue Eyes, White Dragon, Red Eyes, Black Dragon. Uh, Flame Swordsman. I don't remember what else. Okay, now we got to end phase. Okay, let's go into the defense. Okay. Okay. Showing us how to tribute summon. We tribute summon. Have to tribute summon Ninken Dog apparently. Don't know why. I'd rather tribute summon that one, but eh. Yeah, it's telling us about the effect. Activate the effect. Destroy this card, and I can destroy a monster. Bye bye. Yes, it's teaching you about chaining cards as well. Activate called Haunted and bring back Ninken Dog. And I can also chain again, activating this. And I can use it on that. See? And now I can attack. And as you can see, uh, this monster got the boost from Rush Recklessly. Now let's finish things off. Yep. And we've got just enough. Sorry, Joey! We win! And since we've already gone through the thing, we don't get the extra... Oh wait, did we do? What? A card that powerful totally wipes me out. Eh, you would have lost anyway. <laughs> yeah, you stink at this game. Eh, you did fine. I just got better cards. Yeah, you do. My grandpa owns a game shop and I get all my best cards from him. Yep. Your own game shop? Cool, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Okay, maybe I can even get my grandpa to show us a super rare card he's got. Which is, well, if you've seen the show, you know what it is. Little did they know- and why is he in ba his Battle City outfit? It makes no sense. Little did they know that someone was- This- oh, okay. Hang on. Sorry, I just got- a text. Little did they know that someone was listening in on the conversation. Someone who was looking for a very rare card to add his collection. Yeah, right, add to his collection. More like rip it up. Yeah. That's Kaiba. 
And actually, we did get the stuff. Okay. Okay, we got a new card. Brain Crusher. I don't think I've seen that card before. Or that one. And yes, we get more dual points. That's for buying card packs at the game shop. At the card shop. And actually, I might as well go on ahead and show you this one as well, because it's not that one didn't take very long. I could probably get two episodes in per episode, depending on how long it takes, because sometimes these are really ha get really hard, and I have to like go through them a few times to get past them. Like this one, I'm still having trouble with it. <laughs> okay, anyway, the heart of the cards. That afternoon, Yugi and his friends went to Grandpa's game shop. Yugi wanted to show his friends his Grandpa's prized possession, obviously. Grandpa, could you show my friend your awesome super rare card? And yes, it is a rare card. Rare card? Give me my special card? Hmm. Please, please. Haha, <laughs> how can I refuse? You kids are in for a trade. I don't take this card out too often. Yep, the blue eyes white dragon. Ready? Here it is. Yeah, the blue eyes white dragon. So rare, so powerful, I never leave it in my hand. And in the anime, Tristan snatches it out of his hand right at that point. Yeah, this card is priceless. There are only four of them in the world. There's going to be three soon. Suddenly, a classmate from school ran into the shop. And actually, he didn't run into the show, but he just stood in the doorway ominously before walking in. His name was Seto Kaiba, the young CEO of Kaiba Corp. He had found the card he was looking for. <laughs> Name your price for that blue eyes. Like, yeah, you probably could, but... I'm sure you could, but this card is worth more to me than you could ever offer. True. Senalo fool. Uh -huh. Shut up, Kaiba. Kaiba stormed out of Grandpa's shop. The town team was disturbed by Gra Kaiba's obsession with blue eyes. Oh, you have no idea on that. <laughs> The next day, when Yuki came back to the store with his friends, he found Grandpa was gone. When the phone rang, it was Kaiba on the other end, mocking Yugi that he had kidnapped his grandpa and took him to Kaiba Corp. Really? <sighs> oh boy. Yugi and his friends rushed to Kaiba Corp and found Grandpa lying on the floor, defeated. Oh, great. Grandpa, are you okay? Yugi, I failed. I wanted to teach that boy Kaiba a lesson about the heart of the cards, but you've lost. Yeah. I'm guessing you got blown away by blue eyes. Oh, did you guys see? Look at the outside of Kaiba Corp here in the background. Blue eyes, white dragons. <laughs> yeah, he's got an obsession with it. How's the old man doing? Kaiba, you sleaze? What have you done to him? Yeah, he's a sleaze, alright. In this part of the show, anyway. We had a duel, that's all. With each of us putting our most valuable cards. Yeah, your valuable card was the same card. As the prize, but I guess playing against a champion... Well, it's just too much stimulation for him. Yeah, you should be ashamed of yourself. Oh, great, the frame rate's going down. And he's got Kai, but he's got the card. And he held it up and ripped it in half. Great. Just like in the show. You jerk. Grandpa's most treasured card. Blue Eyes White Dragon is a rare and powerful card, and this one will never be used against me. <laughs> jerk. Yeah, poor guy lost his uh, most powerful, lost his most valuable card. It's more valuable than just because of its power, because he got it from a friend. Oh boy. Yeah, like I said, it's kind of lagging a bit. Because you can say, how could you do such a thing? And he gives him his own deck. I built this deck, I put my soul in these cards, and I've taught you everything I know. Take my cards with each type of respect. Oh, we will. <laughs> really? You're gonna call him a runt? He's not that short. <laughs> he still didn't get any ta how much he taller. Kaiba was taken aback by Yugi's sudden transformation. It seems like he had become a different person, as if he was more confident and powerful than before. Well, duh. Kaiba, prepare yourself, because it's time to duel. And we're gonna use the story deck, obviously. Because my deck, I haven't been able to build my deck yet, and the user deck kinda stinks. 
for now. But once I get it rebuilt, I'll use it. Let's see. Nice. Haha. -ha. I'm going first. Because I want to pull up my traps and stuff. Oh, see? This is what I meant. Lagging. I had to check some of the options to find out how to get it set going. Okay. I'm gonna set that face down. And as you can see, we got two pieces of Exodia. We only need three more, and I know exactly how to get them. I just gotta get the right cards for it. Okay, that's all we can do. Let's see what Kaiba's gonna do. Sometimes he top stacks, sometimes he just goes and does something stupid. Oh crud. Oh, for a second I thought he was gonna do blue eyes. Ha. -ha. Okay, I don't need that yet. Oh wait. This one has the list. Dang it, can't use it yet. Okay, uh, I think I'm gonna set that. Since I can't really do anything else. Let's see what we get. Let's see what you got. Come on. Oh crud. That is not good. Bye bye. Bye bye monster cards. If I could just figure out how to get rid of that blue eyes. See? Here comes the animation. Now I just gotta figure out how to get rid of it. Ah, Laggy. Why? <sighs> Set up monster. Because if I don't, then he's gonna get rid of my only defense. <sighs> bye bye, cards. See, this is where I meant. You can top deck and then, well, you're in trouble. And considering we don't have much to do to use at the moment. <sighs> Great. Let's go on and set that in defense mode. There, now I've got two monsters to defend me again. I'm just gonna stall at this point until I can get... Oh, that's only 1300, okay. Okay. Neither of his other two monsters should be able to touch that one. So that saves me. Oh, thank god. And since I've already got Exodia's head, that's the only effect monster. Come on, I gotta get some good cards drawn. <coughs> it might save me, I don't know. Depends on what I draw. Oh dear. Okay, Blue Eyes will take out Giant Soldier Stone. And since I don't know... And these are two will attack. So that leaves me with... 3700. No, 3800, sorry. Thought it was 1300, not 1200. Oh, Bye-bye! Oh, I should've waited, I should've waited to use the Monster Reborn. Shoot. I could've grabbed his Blue Eyes White Dragon and used it against him. But, oh well, that works. Hate the staying laggy, laggy, laggy. Oh, here we go. Yep, sorry guys, it's lagging like this, but. Come on, don't lag on me.
I might have to check the options and stuff to make sure it doesn't do this. Come on. Get rid of Sangen so I can get a piece of Exodia. Need two more. Come on, hurry the other dog. Don't drop. Heal me now. Oh. Okay. Oh boy. Phew. Just need one more. Come on, draw something I can use. Or at least draw something that I can use to defend with. Yes. Shoot. Oh, good. It'll save my bacon. Now he can't attack for three turns. Okay. Give me a chance. Yes. I know what I'm doing. Hello, Garusies. Bye bye. Hello, Summon Skull. Haha. <laughs> Haha. <laughs> you almost had me. As long as he doesn't pull any negate attacks or mirror forces or anything, I think I should be good. Oh, With my luck, that's what's gonna be. Yeah, that or gift from the mystical elf, because I remember him having that. Oh, another one, but I don't need it. Shadow spell, what did that do again? Uh, activate this card by targeting a face of monster. It loses 700 attack and it cannot attack or change its battle phase. Hang on. Show details. Uh, it then loses 700 attack, cannot attack or change its battle phase. When it leaves the field, destroy this card. Alright. Okay. So we're a bit of a disadvantage, but... Uh-oh. Oh, for a second. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Keep going. Oh, pot of greed. They always announce this effect in the show. Ooh, yes. Defense does that have is too much. I can't even attack with that. So I have to just do this. Come on! Yes! Ha <laughs> ha ha! Eat that, Kaiva! I knew eventually I'd draw it. You play only for power, Kaiva, and that is why you lost. Nah. I just got lucky. He almost got me. But if you put your heart in the game, there's nothing you can't do, and eh, that's questionable. Uh, I think he's kind of right considering I still can't beat him in face off. The results of the duel spread quickly and a mysterious one-eyed man gets news of Yuki's victory. Hmm, it seems Kaiba Boy has been defeated in a duel. 
I must learn more about this Yukimono. And yep. Oh, we get get to the mystical elf, and we get that crush. Ooh, crush card virus. Yes. Actually, I'm not gonna be doing. I'm just gonna leave this at two duels because this last duel was kind of laggy. Anyway, uh, I will see you guys next time when I record some more of this. I might record more in a bit, but probably not because. Oh, uh, what time is it? 2.39 right now. So I think I'm going to take take a break for a bit on that. Anyway, I will see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed this part. And if I made any mistakes on the duels, let me know. And I will remember them on, ha on those tips for next time. See you guys then.